Hey guys and welcome to an international Madam Match player review and we have Eduardo Vargas. He received this card for scoring four goals in the 7-0 win over Mexico. What the hell went on there? Crazy, crazy result for Chile and this card is a position change. Just looks really, really nice. So if you are needing ultimate team coins, head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com. Links will be found just below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G28 and also use the code Fuji. So I play Vargas in a pretty nice 4-3-3 side. It's very defensive and it's just really good going forward with that amount of pace in the attack. It's incredible. And with the card, it is a position change from right mid to striker and it just makes it a little bit more interesting to check out. It's only 80 rated, but he's got some awesome stats like 87 pace, 82 shots, 74 passing, 84 dribbling, 35 defense and 65 physical. So I scored 11 goals and received two assists in seven games. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. And his in-game stats, although like his acceleration, his sprint speed, his agility is very nice. His finishing just doesn't look that great it's free kick accuracy curve looks terrible really only of the 75 stat and his aggression and strength is something that i'm going to be speaking about but overall like he could potentially be one of these overpowered strikers which we're going to find out in just a second four star skills four star weak foot which is really nice medium medium work rates i don't personally like that too much i prefer my striker to have high attacking but then again you can just change his instructions to get in behind which is what i did and overall he looks he looks all right he looks all right let's go check him out so once the card started to appear on the market last night it it was getting bought instantly for 100,000 coins. I managed to find one myself for 81k, did the review, sold him on for 100k, so I made some slight profit there. And that's out of the ordinary. I don't usually t well, tend to make too much money when it comes to player reviews. I lose a lot. But with the card, I was having some mixed opinions in the first couple of games. Although I managed to get consecutive hat tricks, there was just something about the card that I wasn't liking and the major con, which was his strength and aggression. So with him, if you're going to play into his V and someone's literally on you, you're going to get bullied and that's one thing that I found with the card although that he's got good acceleration good sprint speed and agility he doesn't have that burst away power and what I mean by that is that if you're on the shoulder of the defender and you're looking just to brush past and, and use that pace and acceleration to get through he's not going to be able to do that as soon as he starts getting pulled back he gets bullied very very weak but overall dribbling he's featherweight very light on his feet he has that Dybala S type uh, type of dribble where you're not even controlling the ball you're just moving the player and it's very very smooth and responsive but I'd actually recommend if I were to use him again I would definitely play him in a two up top formation just so he's got the support either from another striker or a cam sitting in behind so you won't have the issue of him sort of going into sort of battles with the defenders you can just do quick sort of one twos give and goes so overall like he's finishing inside the box his finesse shots were fine his across shot goals were awesome and he was managing to score with his weaker foot as well and they were good solid like quality finishes but outside the box his finesse shot wasn't working and his long shots were a little bit inconsistent Although I did manage to score one shooting a cross goal, I wouldn't recommend uh, taking on too many long shots. And as you know, he's not an aerial threat. He's uh, very, very weak and small. But I thought he was actually a pretty decent player to use. His positioning as well and overall link up play. Like I said, I would definitely play him in a two up top formation. And yeah, I had some enjoyment using the card. Like I, I was happy with the goals that he was scoring, just the consistent performances as well. Once I got used to the card and sort of gauged how he was taking the shots on, he was pretty fun. Very, very nifty as well. Just quick and responsive. And overall, I'm going to definitely give uh, Vargas a uh, 9 out of 10. I don't think he's worth 100,000 coins at all. I'd per personally purchase him for around 35 to 40k, and I think that would be a good purchase. So I'm going to give him an overall enjoyment out of 5 out of 5. And yeah, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. And if you have enjoyed the review, drop a like, and I will see you on my next one. Team out. Peace.